The Crystal River National Wildlife Refuge was created specifically for the protection of the Florida manatee. Three Sisters Springs. A narrow run is the only access to and from Three Sisters Springs. Manatees must dodge hordes of swimmers. A manatee's eye view of the spring run. Three Sister Springs fails at being a manatee refuge. A manatee's eye view. A manatee mom and baby attempt to leave the sanctuary. Helicopters and drones spooked the manatees, causing them to leave the springs and sanctuaries. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service does nothing as spooked manatees flee in fear. The size and shape of mismanaged sanctuaries varies from day to day. Any manatee outside the poorly run sanctuary is a target for harassment. A manatee's eye view. A refuge volunteer illegally demonstrates how to tame a wild manatee calf, and visitors copy his illegal example. Manatees are surrounded, handled, and blocked to prevent them from reaching the sanctuary. Mismanaged sanctuaries are too small to protect manatees from disturbance, harm, and harassment. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service fails to protect manatees because they cater to the swim with manatees businesses that exploit manatees for greed and profit. Boat noise from falsely proclaimed manatee eco-tour operators fills the manatee's world all day, every day. Manatee season ends March 31st and the too small and too few sanctuaries are removed, although the manatees still need them. Oh, 
a manatee and her newborn are surrounded and cornered by a guided tour group. No safe or quiet place to rest. Three Sister Springs fails at being a true manatee sanctuary. There's a manatee resting underneath you. Stay on the surface and get your legs up. The springs must be 100% closed all winter and the sanctuaries outside expanded to protect all manatees for the duration of their stay.